What's up guys, this is Tony Solo here and I've just arrived in Melbourne, Australia, one of my favorite places in the world. And the video that I want to talk to you guys about today is women love being appreciated. Hello? No, didn't you, you didn't you see me way back there? I, I liked you so much. I was showing you with my eyes and you didn't even notice it. Yeah, I was looking at you. I was, I was like, my God, and you didn't even see me do that. No, I didn't. Sorry. Oh, that's why I had to come and say hello this way. Oh, I was hi. like, if she didn't see my eyes, then I have to come up and say hello. Oh, I got distracted with my phone and music. Uh, oh, sorry. That's okay. I'm Anthony. Stephanie. Uh, did you just come from work? Yeah, just finished. You're just for lunch right now? Sorry? You say just from lunch? Just from work. From uh, now, yeah, from just now. like four, like five minutes. Mm. Oh. And you're just on your way, like everybody else, to their home. Pretty much, yeah. It's been a long day. Uh, you have this way about you. Are you very organized? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I always have a watch on. Yeah, just not. I'm just like the way you don't do your stuff. You just come off as very organized. Oh, well, thank you very much. I was ever said that, but thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, I guess when people come up, they really never notice. No, they don't. They don't. It's not something you notice. <laughs> you notice other things, which is the first time, which is good. What do you notice about me? And you can't say the obvious. You can't say you're wearing black, you have red shoes on. That's <laughs> I didn't even notice the shoes. I'm confident. There you go. Not very many guys come up and approach a girl. Yeah. That's true. Uh, what do you say you like most in a man? Oh, well, one of the things. I can't say most because that's really on the spot when I say most. Humor, I guess. What does that mean? Yeah. Someone that can make you laugh. <laughs> yeah. uh, really? Yeah. I feel like it's such a cliche answer. No, it's not. It's true because not everyone can make someone genuinely laugh. Mm. It's one thing being cocky and being a dick and you know, making fun of other people, but actually genuine humor. Mm. Mm. What have you been attracted to though? Like, what have, what have you actually attracted into your life? Because many girls say that, but then they sometimes attract assholes. That's why I'm like, that's Oh, uh, well. I'm Wait, what was this way. I said, uh, what have you actually attracted into your life? So, like, like, previously, the guys you've been with, have any of them been, like, assholes or anything like that? Because you say, ah, oh, a guy, that, I want humor, and a guy, you know, not that's not really, really an asshole. Not really. No. I can't really categorize them. Yeah, it's an interesting question. You know, I don't have like a type or anything. I can't really categorize what like a... I don't really have similar... All I can say is very different from each oh, other. Oh, really? Yeah. So that means you've changed a lot then? Probably. I've been all around the world. I've met different people. So I guess I have, yeah. Um, I just arrived here yesterday, last night. What for? Um, I have a workshop while I'm here. What kind of a workshop? Uh, it's, uh, a workshop of self-development. Oh, okay. It's yes. like a conference slash you come with your work. Mm, it's more like uh, guys come in and I help them with life skills. Oh, so you're the one leading the um, I'm one of the ones, oh. yes. So, Would you like to go for a walk before you go home? I'm walking that way to the station, so if you want to walk, it's fine. Which, are you just walking this way? Just to the London station. Does that middle one lead to the station as well? It does. Uh, do I you go want to walk there? Because it walks directly. It's, I don't know. I feel like it's closer. Uh, I it feels closer. I just want to get to know you at a longer time. So um, I was like, if we walk that way, it'll lead to the same thing. It'll just be a little bit longer. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Sure. I, I love. I, you know, what I like about you. You have a very like nonchalant, open attitude. I've seen like photos of the subway, and I just like people, people are just, singing like, and burst out and dance, and you're just like, whoa. Are oh, you talking about like on the poles and stuff? Yeah. Yes, they really do that, yeah. They really do that. I was in the subway and somebody, they start doing like these head tricks and they're doing stuff like that. Oh, that is so cool. You I should lived get... in London for a bit and I did that on the underground. A bit. And I was like, that's pretty cool. But I can imagine the New York subway like every day. New York, uh... But also, I, don't, I wouldn't never live in New York though. <clears throat> oh, really? Yeah, the pe way people treat each other there, I don't... I had to hate it. They treat each other like they don't care. So it's like you're just another person because there's so many people. Yeah. So they, when you go to the store or anything, they 
they were looking in the eyes sometimes. They may just say, hey, what do you want? And they may look this way while you're standing here. <laughs> and I just, and of course me, I'm quite always a rebel, so I just stand there like this until they look at me. And then I go, yes, I would like to order this, this, this. And then when they look away for a long time, I go. <laughs> I want this route. You've really okay, I have, I have a question. When you're walking, when you're walking down here, yeah. what do you actually see when you're walking through? Like when you have, when you're, like if I wasn't, if I didn't ask you, what would you actually see? Just where you're going, or? I just look straight ahead, like in the distance. <laughs> that is insane to me. Well, I, like, well, I, I walk this like all day, like twice a day, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna be looking around at much when I've seen it right. all the time. Every single day, I see the same thing. <laughs> You're like desensitized to it all. You're like, I've seen this every day. There's nothing new about this. I'm like, wait, did well, you know? If that... I was in another country, I'm like, did you know there was actually a guy back there with pink hair? No. Oh my god, did you see that? No. That's how. That's insane. He's like a rocker dude with pink hair. You didn't see him? Well, is he like one of just like another person walking? Yeah, he was past. another person walking past. No. That's what's interesting about this is that you get to see all kind of different types of. If I was in another country, I would. Like if I was traveling around, I'll take more like notice of like I would observe yeah. around me. <laughs> because I do this every single day. It's like routine. Uh. Get to work, from work, get to the train station, walk home. It's just the same thing every day. Do you like your work? Yeah, I like it. I've only started working there this year. And what is it? Uh, I work at an IT software company. So we do like email risk management. So it's very... I have no, I actually have no clue what that is. Like what do you like about it? You don't have to tell no, me, explain to it, but what do you like? It's not the actual like job, it's like the culture, like the people. We're like very, very social. Like we'll organize catering for lunch. We'll have like, we're doing like, for instance, I'm organizing like a Super Bowl lunch on like the 6th of um, Feb. And then we're organizing like Australia Day like lunch or something and then this Friday we're going to the tennis mm -hmm. you know it's very social like we do we drink a lot I must say we do drink a lot but I guess we're in Australia this is Australia we heavily drink I don't know about Americans they do they do like really bad too <laughs> yeah like binge <laughs> yeah it's like it's like pizza <laughs> pizza that's all I hear is pizza oh, I love pizza you have a really really you have a cool openness about you, do you know that? Like you just have a, uh, a way about you that's very, very just open and no stress almost. Well, I leave the stress at work, honestly. Like, uh, <laughs> outside of work, I'm like, I don't care. Uh, I like it though. Uh, let's meet up for a drink while I'm here. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? I need to try, I need to learn this Australian accent. I don't know what the fuck going on. I've been here and I'm trying to learn the fucking accent, but I can't do it. Well, I'm not Australian, so I'm probably you, not the best. You sound Australian. Though. That's because I'm from New Zealand, so everyone no. thinks that Australia's New Zealand is the same. Wow. But yeah. we're actually doing No, no, no. Okay, 0405. Stephanie. Yes. You know, you know the flies here. They kind of just stick on you. Yeah, they don't. And then they don't. They don't they leave. They don't fly away when you swat them. No. No. I end up like swatting my face half the time, whacking my glasses off. <laughs> and they like literally just land on you. They don't fly away. I don't know. I was I was recording a video while I was walking today, and it was just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I had to do like this, or it wouldn't actually oh, no, leave. Yeah, actually, have to physically touch it to be like. Oh. <laughs> and it's like they want to get killed almost. <laughs> No. Anyway, I'm gonna head off because my train is about to arrive. Okay, come in, lovely um, girl. It was lovely meeting you. It was nice to meet you. Send me a text and we'll catch up this week. Yes, we will. All right. All right, see you. See ya. All right. If there's one thing that I found out in my time and being with many, many different types of women from a very young age is women really love being appreciated. And that's something that I love to do. But for some guys, they found it <clears throat> an issue to start appreciating women too much. And I'm not a person to say appreciate women this much or appreciate women this much. I say do it to the extent that's true for you. It's funny when I see guys watch my videos and they say, Tony, you're giving too many compliments or that compliment was weird. Or you should only compliment a girl twice. 
And they have this very structured way of dealing with women. Not knowing that every woman is very different. So they are literally walking around with this, I'm only gonna give two compliments the whole time to let her know that I'm not over investing. To let her know that I'm not kissing her ass, to let her know that I don't need her. But that same behavior of I'm gonna do this so she knows that I'm, I don't need her, is the same thing that you need to start to look at. Because you never ever want to bash your ability of expressing your desire for a woman's beauty or the way she is as a woman. When you start to get used to this and when you start to do it a lot, you start to know when you're doing it too much. You start to know, okay, right now I'm overextending because this girl is just very beautiful in front of me. And I feel like if I just give more compliments, she's responding well, so that means that I need to just keep, just keep doing that. And you're sadly mistaken because if you're just doing something and she's responding well to it, she, you basically have trained yourself into when I compliment her, she'll respond good. So it's not really the truth. You're just doing it to get a reaction that feels good to you. Because you feel in some way, okay, I'm just getting further and further um, along with this girl and I'm able to be able to get her closer and closer to knowing that I like her. And that's the furthest from the truth. So as you know, I always do, I always bring you the truth of what it really is to appreciate a woman, of how it really is. For me, it's been very, very beautiful in a sense of, I get to go out there and express my desire for what I like about a woman at any moment that I see it. So that's from the approach all the way to in the bedroom, doesn't matter, I'll just say it when I feel it. Sometimes I may say compliment after compliment after compliment, and guys go, wow, that's too much. Okay, slow down, Tony. You're appreciating too much, man. Slow down. And I go, the reason why the girl is responding so good to me is because she can feel that I'm not doing it to kiss her ass. I'm not doing it so she can just feel some type of way because I actually don't care if she, if she likes my compliment or not. I'm giving her the truth of how I feel. And this is where it comes to expressing a desire with no attachment. That is what it means to express anything, express, especially expressing appreciation. And once you start to express appreciation without attachment, the thing that happens with it is that the appreciation that you express, it has a stronger hit. The person that, the woman that you feel that you're expressing that to, she'll feel it stronger. And as she feels it stronger, she starts to feel that, okay, this guy really, really adores me. He really adores the way I look. He's not saying this to me just so he can get in my pants. He's not saying this to me just because he's trying to see, am I going to validate him? Am I going to give him a good response? Because you may say to some girls, oh my God, you look amazing. And then the girl goes, thank you. And she doesn't respond that well. And you go, oh shit, what did, what did I say? Did I, not give it, did I not give it right? Oh, that's the helicopter, I love it. Did I not do it right? No, it's not that you didn't do it right. It's just that you were looking for a response to the appreciation that you were giving, to the compliment that you are giving. And if any time that you're looking for the response, what will happen is that the woman can feel that you are wanting something from her for, for having given her the compliment, for having given her the appreciation. And that is the thing that's gonna turn her off. But if you're just expressing your desire for what you like about her or what you like on her, then she can truly feel that, okay, this guy, he's the real deal. He's not like some other guy or most guys that I meet who are just saying things to me, but actually don't really mean it. And this comes to, okay, when I see a girl on the street, what do I feel? From the approach, when you see the woman, it's, I feel something inside of me. I feel, oh my gosh, she looks like this. I feel, wow, I feel, she looks amazing. And then the only thing you need to do from that moment is go tell her that. Of course, with the whole thing around if she gets shocked, you're being able to tell her, you know, sorry for shocking you or anything like that, if that pops up. But just the going up and telling her the appreciation that you feel toward her with nothing attached to it, she'll begin to melt into your presence. Because a woman is very much in love 
from the masculine's appreciation. The masculine's appreciation is so powerful to the woman because that is a part of the power that he has to offer her. One of the powers that you have to offer a woman is your masculine ability to observe and deliver. So in that moment, you're basically observing her. And in observing her or her behavior, you tell her what you like. And from that place, she will feel the power of what you say because the masculine, of course, represents truth, represents observation, represents standing outside of like noticing. So as you're standing outside of, so to speak, the moment and noticing what's amazing about her, and you just deliver that to her, it'll hit straight through. And guys are like, oh man, that's, that's a little bit deep. Yeah, it is deep, man, it is. But that's the beauty behind this whole thing called appreciation. And why do women soak it up? It's not like they just walk around like, oh, I just want guys to appreciate me. No, there's a certain type of appreciation that she wants. She wants the appreciation that coming from the energy of truth. She wants that type of appreciation. So that's everything from when you say hello to her at the beginning so when you start to talk to her in conversation and she's telling you a bit about her and you start to like this thing about her and you let her know and you start to like the way that she giggles and you start to like the way that she moves her body and you start to like the way she thinks any of these things feel free try this feel free at any moment that you like any of the things that the woman is giving you like really like it that you tell her Tell her. And it's not, oh, it's not about validation. It's not none of that. I don't even believe in that. I don't use that fucking word. I use appreciation because the validation I know is something that guys use when they think about hot girls. They go, oh, they shouldn't get validated. You should only tell them a few things, but not, you know, keep everything else back so they can start chasing you. And it's a constant game that guys want to play because they actually feel less than a hot girl. But the thing that I believe in is true appreciation of what you like about the woman true appreciation which means that when you give it it's just going so it, it has no stop to it it's no oh maybe I'm giving too much oh maybe she's too hot and she does she wouldn't like this compliment oh she's been told this so many times like guys say for like my students say when it's uniquely coming from you a woman can this is the truth man a woman can be called beautiful by a hundred men literally but if 99 of the men said it the same way, and it was that one man who said it from a different type of energy that was real and true, she would respond to him very different than the 99 other men. She might hear in a day from 10 guys that she looks amazing, beautiful, all these compliments, but when a man comes up and he really likes her and he says to her exactly how he feels about her, she would respond very different to him because she can feel that he's operating from something different. That is the main difference to, to a man who is appreciating a woman and um, another man who's appreciating a woman. It's the main difference is where they're coming from. They tend to come from two different places. I want you to start to think about something really quick. Start to think about what is your own way that you want to appreciate women? What is your way? Because everybody has their own particular way of doing it. Uh, if you look at me, Liam, James, you look at Shay, you look at Andy, we have all very different ways of appreciating women. That's because we found out what is the way that we appreciate women. A lot of you guys, you're going out there and you're constantly sounding like each other. I noticed that when I look at guys in the community, or even coaches too, they sound like each other. And it's so repulsive to look at because I'm noticing that they're not really being who they are. They're not really giving the appreciation that they want to give for themselves. I mean, a guy can say to a woman that she looks like a steak dinner. Really, he can say that. A guy can say to a woman that he thinks that she's the most beautiful woman that he's ever seen. A guy can say to a woman that... You just... <sighs> Hi. He can say that. But if it's true, if any of those statements are coming from the place inside of him that's true, even if the girls think it's cheesy, she will actually like it. She will love it actually many of the times because it's his own way. And as you know about me, I'm going to always teach you how to find your own way with this. How to go out there and meet women through your own type of seducing. Because there's women out there who will hate your style and women out there who will love your style. So I challenge you to start to look at, <clears throat> when I see a woman that I like, what is the way that I want to appreciate her? 
is it super verbally direct, which I would say you don't know, it, you know it has its drawbacks, but is it super verbally direct? Is it more of a caressing way? You would have to feel what is true for you in that moment. And this is every single time that I see a woman. I'm always feeling into what is real for me right now. What is completely real for me? When I see her, okay, do I feel into right now, I'm really, really low energy. So if I go up and try to give something that's like, it'll be completely not the truth because it's not congruent with what I'm feeling on the inside. But let's say I'm feeling right now that I'm very, very at peace and I want to go tell her that, man, I really don't have much to say, but I just know that I like you. She'll love it because she can feel that, yes, that is the truth. And the way that I'm coming across is one that's of the way that I'm feeling. I'm not being more than I am. I'm just being exactly as I am. And it gives her a chance to relax. And as I'm talking to her, we get into conversation. And maybe I start asking her uh, things about herself. And she starts to open up to me. And as she opens up to me, anything that I like, like really like. It's not like she tells me this thing I like it, I say I like it. This thing I say I like it, no. It's when she tells me something that I uniquely like about her, that's specific to, okay, boom, I like that. I say it. I hold nothing back. When you guys hear me in conversation in my infield videos, you hear me saying all kind of stuff. I love your smell. I love, you know, the way that you do this. And I'm just completely open about it. And the girl can feel that, yeah, he likes me. He's appreciating me. Why would I want to push this away? How do you want to appreciate? How do you want to compliment women? What are the current beliefs that you're holding that's stopping you from being able to appreciate women in the way you want to? What is holding you back? You need to start to do the work on where have I been taken astray where people have told me I can't say these things. I can't do these things. At this time, I need to not compliment because this is the way that it's not done. I remember when I first stepped into the community and guys, I start saying things like, you should only do this, you should only compliment like this. You should only speak to women like this. You should only appreciate women at this time. You should only validate at this time. Validate was the word that I kept hearing. And as I kept hearing this word, I was thinking to myself, okay, it, can't I just appreciate without using the word validation? And for a long time, I kept hearing every coach say that. And I was like, all right, it's confusing me because I'm like, okay, there's things that I actually want to say, but I can't say that because I was told that you shouldn't do it at this time. And that if you do it to this girl, then this type of girl will not respond well to it. And how confusing was that for me? It was so fucking confusing. <laughs> and I can tell you right now that you're probably extremely confused. So to clear everything up, I'm just gonna give you the lead way to go block out everything else and start appreciating women in a way that you want to. Start saying the things that you really want to say. Start saying the things that come naturally to you in the moment for the woman. What comes to you as the truth. What comes to you as how she's affects you? What comes to you? This is the thing you want to connect to. And as you connect to that, you'll start to notice that you start to naturally come into yourself. Everything you've been taught have pulled you away from that. But it's important now that you bring it back on course. Come back to what is it for me? And guys are really afraid of this because when they go, for me, okay, it's saying that a woman is sexy. It's saying that a woman is fucking beautiful. I go, were you, do you really want to tell women that? Or were you giving that as a way to be able to affect the woman? Because you know that when you say fuck, a woman's attention breaks into the moment. When you call a woman really beautiful, are you really saying that because you want to? Or are you saying that because you know that most women, they actually don't get told that in a day so when you do say that to her, she lights up. I'm here to challenge you guys. Never here to just make you guys think that 
the way that you're doing it right now is totally the way. The way that I know for any man out there who's gonna give him the chance to be the best seducer that he can be is if he starts to walk his own path. And one of the people that I love that does this the most is Andy Chabobam. Chabobam, the way that he in interacts with women, the way that he compliments women, is incredibly inspiring to look at. It's incredibly beautiful because he does it in a way that's so natural to him. It's so just flowing with what is true for him in the moment. And the girl really just, just, just feels into, okay, he really means this. And it's so magical to see in a way. Do you want women to really light up by the things that you're saying or by the expressions that are coming from you? That's the two things to look at. The things that are just saying because I know that I need to say that or that are coming from me. And the ones that are coming from you will always have a stronger impact. That's what you're looking for when you go up to do to give appreciation to a woman. You're actually a lot of times looking for impact. You don't need to look for impact. It has its own impact. But the only thing you need to do is move into truth. She's grounded by it. She loves it. She loves your appreciation of her. She loves your appreciation of who she is as a woman. And the moment you guys start to do this, you'll notice that women start to respond to you very differently. Maybe you tell a woman she's beautiful because you really feel that. But maybe you just doesn't say anything. You don't say anything, you just go, hi. And she feels a lot more because that's what's true for you. Many of the times guys are scared to really connect to that part of them that's true. Sometimes I walk up to a woman and I just go, excuse me. Wow. I'm Anthony. And that is way stronger than telling her she's sexy, telling her she's beautiful, telling her she looks amazing. Because that is me in that moment. She wants to experience you. She wants to experience all that you want to give to her. So give it. Give everything that you want to give to her from the true place of, yes, this is me expressing this to you. I have all this appreciation for you in this moment and I'm going to give it to you the, to the velocity that is needed. Whether it be sometimes I'm going to say it in, in a very low key way. Oh, that's really fucking cool. Or sometimes you can say it in a really grandiose way because that's the way you feel. I can't believe that you think like that. You know, that is one of the things that I may say is one of the most attractive things that I can see in a woman is for her to think in her own way, think in a way that's independent. I gotta say, that's amazing. And she'll say thank you. And that is not over the top because that is really the way that I feel. Feelings, appreciation, expression, appreciation. Allow yourself to express, express, express in the way that you want to. And watch how your interactions, your interactions, sometimes I mess up, I like that, unfold. This is Tony Solo saying what's up from Melbourne, Australia. I'll be here for two weeks. And something I've decided to do new for you guys is I've decided to now put out me coaching guys. I'll part, start to put out videos of me uh, coaching guys day and night. And I'll also start to show you guys what I'm like at night because I love night just as much as I love day. And you guys have only been able to see about 30% of what I can do. And of course, me, I wanna be able to show you guys as much as I can. And then the other thing is you'll see behind doors if you come do coaching with me, that's one-on-one -on -one with, with the Natural Lifestyles team. You just go to the naturallifestyles.com, go to the contact page, you put in an inquiry, and from there, Sean will get to you, and you'll get a chance to coach with the best man that I feel in the world at what we do. Until next time, this is Tony Solo, and I see you guys in the next video.